Pedal aficionados, when we hear what, 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 how much you want for delay? MSRP in the US is three ninety nine. I'm assuming that the delay we're looking at today in Germany, Europe, somewhere will clock in over four hundred bucks. And you, and possibly I would say, wait a second, that's freaking ridiculous. However, people spend that money on a Chase Bliss uh, Red Knob mod, or on a Chase Bliss Thermi, uh, or on JHS pedals, when you have a really good analog delay, there's just something about it and they are not cheap to produce because of chips and shit like that. I don't know, electronic -y stuff. So yeah, a good high-end analog delay will cost you something, just like a good tape delay will cost you something. I have this. That is the uh, EFX one from uh, Ecofix. And I spend, what? Well, it's technically 2,200 bucks for freaking delay. I spend less on it because I got, a, I got a deal, but I still spend over a grand on it, okay? And that, well, why? Well, because of delays and a good delay is worth the money. So let's not bitch about the price. Let's talk about what it can do. And what it is, is this. It is the clockwork from Rocket Pedals or J-Rocket or I, I'm lost at what they're called. Rocket people. They make really, really, really good overdrives and stuff. And this is, well, this is a delay, but the really good is no exception. It's got the clockwork. You have an on off. Can turn the modulation on off. You can't really see what this says. It says tap. It's a different switch, soft clicky switch, and that's a tap. So it's an analog delay that's le topable, as they say in Hungary. It is a pretty truthful recreation of a deluxe memory man, if I get this correctly, from the guy who made the memory man, if I got this correctly. Please don't nail me down on that. But the memory, memory guy is in it, or involved, and it's smaller and really high in build. So you have time, which is also tabbable which is also uh, controllable with an expression pedal, as we shall see. And also a separate expression input is up here for the repeats. We have a camera actually showing that. So input for time and expression input for repeats. This is the input and there's a stereo out, which we will get to and bitch about a little bit. Um, so you have time, repeats, modulation speed, modulation depth. And since it is memory manish, Manish, memory manesque, mayonesque, memory ketchup. What? My brain is fried. 
Fried stuff goes with mayo. What did I say? Memory mayonnaise? How did I get here? I don't know. Um, depth. That one. Uh, yeah. Typical. Then you have a mix, which is pretty cool. On this analog delay, can go full delay and no dry. And this level, you kind of think, well, if I have a mix, why do I need a level? And I was wondering that too. When you take the level all the way down, it is not quiet. It isn't an overall output level. I think it is more of a drive level, like how much are you pushing it? And this thing can actually be a drive, as we shall see. So, two independent... <coughs> <clears throat> so, two independent expression inputs, time repeats, modulation, mix level. It's pretty damn heavy. Um, the thing that for uh, is a little bit annoying for a video videographer like me, and Leslie was bitching about that when she had to focus. The um, black and white it, uh, top is a little bit reliefy. It's a, it feels like it's etched in or engraved or something like this. And it's all black and white. And black and white is very difficult to uh, photograph. And from certain angles, it just doesn't work. But when you're actually standing in front of it, it's way cool. It's just not cool for cameras. So we'll get some sounds in mono with a real tube amp, then through the Walrus Audio ACS-1 in stereo. Then we'll do expression. And then we'll go home and you buy it or you don't, depending on whether you like it or you don't. I am getting paid for this video, but I'm not telling you whether you like it or you don't. That, your ears do that. Could you please fix your left sleeve? I have to fix my left sleeve because Leslie is annoyed by it. Oh, before, um, before we actually do any of that, I think now we've talked about what the thing can do. Let's place an ad, one that I'm placing, for my friends at Ogitar, which is kind of an online platform for selling and you know, buying things, but a different idea of how you're paying for it. Uh, let's check out Ogita. Hi, this is Manuel from Ogita. If you want to sell your equipment, you're exactly at the right place. Ogita is super easy to use and you can create ads in just a few seconds. Advertise and sell your guitars completely free of charge. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can find more information in the video description. And there you go. Check it out. Links below. It's pretty cool. Pretty, 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 pretty cool platform. Why not? Check it out. That was a paid for advertisement from Ogita. Moving on. Turn everything off. That's the clean sound. Oh, and also the guitar is a heritage. It's run 50 custom core artisan aged. Yes, it is gorgeous. And that's what it sounds like. We turned it on. We have level all the way down. Let's get less. Let's get less repeats. Let's do slap eggy stuff. A 
it does that really well. Something about the modulation, I think, is if you take delay time all the way down, it should still be modulating. So there you go, it's a chorus. Very good. Finally, that's good. Okay, it can absolutely do modulation by itself. It can drive by itself. Let me get the mix down. There's just the input. Of course, the people at Rocket know how to drive. They have licenses. <sighs> Nobody? Leslie? Silence. That was a delay, right? Let's get to the delay. <laughs> I think it's maximum 600 milliseconds. 600, 600, maximum 600 milliseconds. It's just the delay, so let's get that up. The more delay time you add and the more feedback you add or re repeats you add, the more grainy and gritty it gets. <laughs>
full. So again with the modulation, just like on a memory and be memory. Be careful. Because it can very quickly go into uh, uh, out of tune kind of sounds. some drive in front of it. say I got it I put it on the table and from the first notes it was musical it was inspiring can I say oh you're totally 400 bucks whatever for a delay yeah well I, I don't know it inspired me immediately to write the track you heard at the beginning it was just bam there I didn't have to fiddle with it I didn't have to dial in sounds I didn't have to learn it I turn it on and music happened and for me that's a good pedal Okay, I don't care how much this guitar is. I put it on the on the on my lap, and music happens, and that's the whole idea. So, since we have it, we'll do it. Even though Rocket isn't going to be happy about that, I'm going to compare it to another Memory Man type pedal, which is the digital version of it in the Starlight from Universal Audio, which I happen to have right here. So let's see what happens. I think that's without modulation. <laughs> Universal Audio are very, very good at doing digital emulations of classic gear. And their Memory Man mo uh, uh, simulation is extremely good. Um, with analog, though, there's an unpredictability, some grit that clearly happens in here. Um, it, it's close. But I mean, you know, getting close to Universal Audio's brilliance isn't a, isn't a bad thing. But I mean, technically, it's Universal Audio is close to the original. Let's put it that way. Uh, and this, the clockwork, most certainly is the real analog deal. And it's got something, especially in the modulation, that I don't think the digital emulation can catch. <laughs> I, 
I know it's cliche to say those words, but it is warmer. The analog is warmer. The uh, analog is wider. It's a little bit fatter. Moving on, we're gonna control the time. I have a um, mission engineering arrow on the floor. We're gonna control the time with expression. Found a little bit of an issue there. <laughs> Now it seems better and um, before it seemed as if it wasn't calibrated right. Now I actually have the full range of delay time under my foot. If you wanted that and in the same way you can do the repeats. That is all pretty damn impressive. Why in the world does it have a stereo out? Does it have two delay chips and two different delay times? No, it doesn't. What they're doing is they are phase reversing one of the outputs. And that does create a pseudo stereo image because you got your ears being hit with an out of phase signal. I will illustrate that by going into the ACS-1 from Warriors Audio. And here we go, through a virtual Fender, which sounds like so. And that's nice. It definitely adds some width, widity, wideness, wideitude. There's one problem since one of them is face reversed against the other. In mono, should this come as a mono mix, like on the radio or whatever, it will be your dry guitar. It will literally sound like so. Because they do cancel each other out. I tried it, I panned both left and right to the middle and the delay was gone, but luckily your guitar wasn't gone, it was still the dry guitar. But then it's not necessarily what you wanted, right? So you'd have to tell the front of house guy, make sure you're not panning in the middle, make sure you're panning left and right, blah, 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 blah. Um, of course, if you're going into a stereo amp setup, it sounds will be slightly different, so you could retain a little bit of the, um, the delay. I don't think that is the best solution. Realistically, before I have a face cancelled left right out, I'd rather have a mono out because that doesn't lead me to use it. That doesn't uh, lead me to the problem of having it in a mix in stereo and then all of a sudden my delay is gone when it gets played in mono. So I don't know what I'm supposed to think about a stereo out that is nothing but face reversed sides. I discussed it with a couple of builders, what they think about the idea, and everyone's like, yeah, but when you sum it together, your signal's gone. I'm like, yeah, 
that's what happens. So I wouldn't call that a feature to invest in. I wouldn't call that, oh, it's a stereo analog delay. It's not. It's a mono analog delay that's face reversed on the uh, one side, okay? Then we've done everything. Make it big, Leslie. So overall, I have the Red Knob mod from Chase Bliss. I have some really high-end analog delays. And as I said, you put the clockwork on the table or else it gets the holes again. No, that's a, that's different. That's a different saying. You put the... <laughs> sorry. You put the clock... I, I'm still in my head. When you put the clockwork on the table, it immediately inspires. It's gritty. It's warm. It smears. It just inspires you to play. When I talked uh, about the clockwork with Mario from the distribution, he said, yeah, I came... I mean, and we always talk very openly about all the products he sends me. And he said, yeah, it's, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I was like, oh, okay, let's check it out. But then I came back from a rehearsal where I used it and it was, I was just inspired. I was uplifted. And that's what good gear is supposed to do. It's supposed to uplift you. It's supposed to elevate your playing. It's supposed to inspire you. And whether it's got expression inputs and all that stuff and whether it, it inspires the drive feature or the level feature, I think, is pretty damn cool. The fact that you can go delay only is pretty damn cool. Uh, don't know what to think about the stereo out, but it is purely inspiring. And if you're a fan of those modulated uh, memory man sounds, then this is a pedal to save up for. That's all I got to say. And that's not my paid for opinion. That's my opinion. I'm glad I have it. I'm glad they commissioned the video. I'm glad you're checking out the links underneath. I'm glad that Leslie switched this. And I'm very glad that I have all these animals that I can put at the end. Gotta go. Who's to blame in this game? Light of flame and let it glow. On the base full of rage, we engage the imposter god. Tell us all righteous, try to make the cross and then the squad. 